Don't you just hate it when your remote control doesn't work? It's one of the most frustrating things, especially when it's an important button like the power button. Like who wants to get up and turn off the stereo, right? Well, we're gonna fix a remote control that has one button that's not working. I'll show you how to do it, it's real easy. I got a remote control here. This is a Panasonic for a sound system and everything's working on it except for one of the buttons. If we if we put it into night shot, the camera into night shot mode, we'll see that the buttons are working except for the power button's not working. So we're going to show the, take this one apart and I'll show you guys how to fix a lot of these remote controls when you have a button that's not functional. So first we'll pop the remote control apart. Most of these remotes are just uh, clipped together so sometimes there's a screw that has to be removed but in most cases it's just a matter of popping them apart and this one here does not appear to have any screws holding it together so we just have to get our spudger and pop the remote apart there will be a place that I can usually pop it, the screwdriver in get it in around the edges and Work, the way, work my way around the edges here and get it to pop apart. Just like that, see? And we'll get the next clip out. Once we get into one side, you can usually just work your way across the front or the, the back and get the remaining clips to release. And then the unit should, the unit should just pop apart like that. So usually, what happens on these remote controls is you get dirt on the pads and on the rubber. In this case, if we look at this, it looks to be that there's some some dirt on here I'm going to clean this I'm just going to use just mild soap and water and I'm going to take this circuit board in and we're going to wash off the keypad I won't be doing this on camera because I'm going to take it in the house but I'll just tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to wash off the circuit board there's another there's some more looks like something's been built on it you see so I'm just going to wash this off with some mild detergent same goes for the rubber pads on here that one there for example and uh, then we'll put this back together and see whether it fixes it so I cleaned the pad up just with some dish soap and water the same goes for the circuit board here I cleaned up the circuit board over on this edge we'll put the unit back together and uh, give it a quick try, give it a quick test here and see if it's gonna work. This usually works to bring these non-functioning remotes back together, just the remote just snaps back together just like that. Load the batteries up. And then the button that wasn't working was the power button back into night shot mode and now we have a power button all the buttons now work as you can see this is where these night shot cameras come in handy they can see infrared and as you can see all the buttons are working press all the buttons just to make sure that every last one of them is sending out a signal there this remote control is fixed you got a remote that's not functioning that's the first thing to do take it apart give it a clean nothing harsh no harsh chemicals no isopropyl alcohol if you unless you want to ruin the keypad just diluted dish soap and water and that's it that's how you fix nine out of ten of these remote controls